Hi Leo, welcome to your December 2017 tarot reading. I'm Gemstone Tarot. This is the lovely Valentine who is having a bit of a cabinet reshuffle. She's probably going to lick her own bum now. No, we're all good. She's settling down. Welcome to your tarot reading, Leo. I love doing your readings because they're full of drama. They're like a Shakespearean play. If you want a private reading, you can do that in the description box below or visit my website, gemstonetarot.com. I can do 2018 ooh, forecast for you as well at the moment. Or if you want to buy a reading for a friend or family member for Christmas, just get in touch with me. If you want to donate to the channel, you can also do that in the description box. And a huge thank you to those of you that have done that and helped to support my channel. Now, Leo, also check out your weekly reading. That's from today till next Saturday, time stamped for each sign. So you can look at your sun, moon and your rising. So do check that out as well. Now, what do you need to know for December? Jupiter moved into Scorpio in October. 3rd of December, full moon, full super moon in Gemini. And Mercury goes retrograde on the same day. For me, it's a time of secrets and lies, of power struggles, rebalanced, of questioning the status quo, politically, globally, individually. I say that, you get the five of wands fighting the dragons. And let's have a look for you. Ooh. Leo, 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 okay, that card has come up in nearly every reading, wow, okay Leo, we need to talk, <laughs> I'm going to throw away the jumper I've got around my hot water bottle, that's how serious that is, okay, Right, Leo. Some of you, again, check out your moon and rising on the monthlies as well, okay? Because this little gem has come up in nearly, in fact, possibly every reading that I've done so far. And it is the power play card, power struggles. Venus in Aquarius, your opposite sign. For some of you it's work, for some of you it's family, for some of you it's love, but it's lording it over someone. It's power struggles, it's toxic pull. I feel like it's the vibe of it all. We've got this full moon in Gemini. It's a talkative time. It's a time for things that are hidden with Jupiter in Scorpio. Jupiter is like the explorer philosopher. Scorpio? Scorpio? Scorpio. Scorpio is like the sleuth detective, the emotional detective, Scorpio. It's like, I will go down into the underworld and go through all that. I don't mind. Scorpio's happy with that. They just want to get to the truth. And Jupiter will help them in terms of scope. It's massive. The scale is big. It's political truth. It's global truth. It's world truth. But it's also your world truth. And then Gemini picks it up and thinks, I will broadcast this. And then Mercury retrograde goes, yeah, but it won't go out because I'll stop it uploading. And I will make it into some kind of weird message or I will send it to the wrong person or I will confuse your brain so you can't express it properly. And all of that, what um, Family Guy would call casserole of nonsense, and it is a casserole of nonsense in December, is going on. In some ways it's very good, because look, justice in the reverse. There is injustice in your scenario. For some of you this is about work, or it's to do with a family in, just turning on my foot heater, it's to do with a family inheritance, or a situation with family about money, or property, or with a spouse or an ex-partner or something about money, property, it can be anything, division, divorce, 
It can even be lending money to a friend. It could be work. It could be anything. But it's definitely... It's an injustice. Six of Pentacles in reverse. You've either given something to somebody or something that hasn't returned it. They haven't treated it well or they owe it to you. For a few of you, there is an element of relationship imbalance with somebody five of cups always note on the five of cups the conjugal couch has been abandoned and she's chasing five of cups five of swords five's a very unstable number for me things are in flux the casserole of nonsense it's stewie that says that i think in family guy Probably not what Juliet Sharman Burke had in mind when she did the artwork for the Mythic Tarot. <laughs> that comparisons would be drawn with Family Guy. But, you know, we live in an ever-evolving world, Leo, and you know that better than anyone. Now. Crumbs. You also have the five of ones. That's three fives. Times they are a change in for you in December, as they are for many. It is turbulence month, I'm not going to lie, having done these readings, I can see that. Five of Wands, this is daily chasing the dragon. It's not a big deal, it's not a big fight, but it's the daily fight. It's what someone once described divorce as, which is waking up every day and having a minor car crash. You're going to need to have your gloves on for December. Eight of Cups in reverse. That's a very interesting card as well. Especially with the five in reverse. Just for some of you, this is to do with this card. We've got the Emperor in the reverse. Now this can be to do with the father, because he's the father of the tarot. But it's Zeus. In here it's Zeus, the boss man, the CEO. This could be a CEO, it can be a manager, it can be a father figure, it can be a male partner, not a woman. The female is the empress. There's a power imbalance at work or in relationship and you have tried to walk away from it. Eight of cups in reverse and been drawn back somehow to it or will be drawn back to it with Mercury retrograde, maybe against your will a bit, maybe through circumstance, maybe because there's unfinished business and you need to go back to finish it. You know, Mercury is a weird, Mercury retrograde is a weird old thing. We all know I'm not a huge fan because it affects me profoundly. My words all go funny, which they have in all of these uploads. I've said some weird things. And all my dates go wrong, and all my thumbnails go wrong, and the videos don't upload, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, I have a healthy appreciation of Mercury Retrograde, in that I understand it is a reset, it is a recalibration. It is almost a celebration of the past. I appreciate the old friends coming back out the woodwork. I appreciate finding a handbag that I lost 10 years ago or whatever it is, or finding something I really needed to find and it just literally pops up as if it's always been there. And also generally you find that these things that have a do-over, such as this justice card, when you pop out the other end of Mercury, it all makes sense. It's like going down a rabbit hole you're going down a rabbit hole in December, but you're a Leo, you might enjoy the ride. You might enjoy the ride, especially because you're locking horns a bit with this person. There's a bit of a battle there, a bit of a battle scene. At work again, you've got the three of pentacles in reverse, unfairness, poor division of labor. You may be being leaned on too much with this Five of Swords. Someone may be expecting you to shoulder too much. 
giving too much, getting too little. That could also be a family member. It could be to do with inheritance, legal matters with the justice card here, or a Libra. Now, up here we've got the Magician in Reverse. That makes me wonder, as Led Zeppelin say in Stairway to Heaven. I won't sing it. When the Magician's in Reverse, the illusion of the act is highlighted more than the alchemy. When he's in the upright, he is making things happen with the four elements of the tarot. You can see them here on the card. I always want to say blood, sweat, gravy and egg, which is an old, of course, Mercury retrograde. It's an old a washing powder advert. It cleans everything. Then you get the white t-shirt, blood, sweat, gravy and egg. But it's not. <laughs> It is cup, sword, pentacle and wand, okay? He's not doing the washing. Now, those are externals to be manipulated as an alchemist to make gold or to make things better, really, is the general idea. He's a bit of a one when he's in the reverse because he uses them a bit to manipulate rather than to transform. And also he becomes, rather than the sort of magi and the alchemist, becomes more of the magician. You know, the sort of cheap telly magician that you might get with all the props, pulling the rabbit out of the hat. And what that puts me in mind of, one of my mum's sayings, another one, in order to pull the rabbit out of the hat, there has to be a rabbit in the hat in the first place. And sometimes the magician has a very empty hat. Just a few Leos may be involved with a performer of sorts. Either they really are a performer, actually music, I can't speak, actor, musician, magician, um, poet, whatever it is, someone who is on stage, literally. You may be involved with someone who does a show. But once they're off stage, there, is there a rabbit in the hat? Okay. Also for this person, it may be they're not a performer, but in life, you're not getting the real them. You're getting the pattern of respectability, the show that is them, not the real deal. My advice to you, well, you don't even need advice actually because this whole swirl of planetary action, Mercury retrograde, super full moons and all that jazz will pull that curtain back for you. Rather like my cat does when you go for a wee in my house. This is uh, Valentine is the black cat, and then her mum, Princess Leia, guess who named her and it wasn't me, her mum, Princess Leia, <coughs> if you go for a wee, she immediately hears this and feels it is her duty to run into the bathroom and sort of pull the curtain across with her tail so everyone can see you sitting on the toilet. <coughs> yes, just a little aside there. So. Mercury retrograde will pull back the curtain on this person. You may find they're just a magician with an empty hat. That's just a warning. Some people, some of you Le lovely Leos, this person has you a bit in their thrall. It may be person in a jacket syndrome. You know, once they put on a jacket and get on the stage, they look a lot sexier than when they're not. If that's the case, enjoy the fling, but that might be all it is. Others of you are locking horns. This emperor in reverse, he's a real piece of work. And you don't like injustice, and you're a Leo, you're a fire sign. 
you have a big lion heart and you can fight and you will fight you won't fight in one big off row one, one big one off row it will be a daily grind of putting your point across and making sure it's been acknowledged or writing letters or sending emails or whatever it is grinding this person down I kind of feel your strength coming through in December. I feel like it's going to work. I just feel like it requires a lot of energy, but I feel like you have the energy. And you'll get, you get a gift card of abundance. Good. Now I feel that these tickets of abundance, as I'm going to call them, come more towards January 2018. I feel like December is the slog for everybody in different ways. But I feel like the hard work is rewarded. And that could come in terms of pentacles, status, love. But at the moment, you just need to fight your good fight and keep your eye out for the magician. You will know what that means. I know that some of you really know what that means. I can feel that. Let's have a look at Chuck Spezzano's lovely love cards. Some of you have been asking me where you can buy Chuck Spezzano cards. He does have a website, which isn't great for buying cards. Good for finding out about Chuck Spezzano. Not good for buying cards. I have a feeling that nearly all, if not all, of his cards are out of print. So in my experience, it's an eBay job and you have to wait. They do come up for not ridiculous prices. They are also on there for ridiculous prices. So it is a case of, you know, playing detective and waiting, I'm afraid. Ooh. Very interesting. Some of you in December will be moving on from heartbreak. Or communicating with someone who is the magician and claims to be held back by heartbreak. But I'm not utterly convinced and that's just for a few of you. So heartbreak, but this is moving on from that. Receiving. That's a lovely card. Some of you will be literally receiving gifts and we have got Christmas and the holidays coming up for those of you that celebrate. And that's nice, but it's more than that. It's more than that. And then good timing. Mercury retrograde for the good timing. You may be bumping into someone you haven't seen in a while and it looks nice. It looks nice to me. I like that vibe for you, Leo. Let's have an oracle card for lovely Leo. Ooh, what's that one? Good. You get Imagine, the John Lennon card. If you can imagine it, you can have it, is the message I get for that card, Leo. And you have a very active imagination. If you choose to spend some of Mercury Retrograde daydreaming about it too, I feel that's more to the good. You may want, if you have intentions, if you imagine, you could put them out near that full moon it being a super moon, if there are intentions for closure or for revelation or to know something that's secretish. I knew you were going to get this card. I've got that feeling that I always get when I'm going to pull that card. I'm so glad to pull this card, Leo. You get the miracles card. Now, the message that I'm getting for this is really loud and clear, okay? In the midst of the swirl of the nonsense that is December, 
This has no rhyme or reason that I can give you, but it's great. So Leo, thank you. If you want a private reading, book in the description box. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Thank you for joining me and I'm so glad to pull the miracles card for you. Namaste.